Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. In today's video, I will show you 35 tips, tricks and features in Gcam that will let you master this extremely powerful camera app and take your experience to a whole new level. The video will include three different categories. Number one is the pro tips, number two, the hidden features, and finally, the new users category. So regardless which one you fall under, I'm sure you will find something useful and I will start with the pro tips as most of the channel audience already know a lot about Gcam. So without further ado, let's jump in. Pro tip number one, use night sight while taking morning photos. Yes, it makes a difference. So here's a 30x zoomed morning shot taken with the Pixel 7 Pro with and without night sight. And you can clearly see how the details are noticeably better with the night sight activated. Number two, don't take portraits on your Pixel phone. Why? Because your face will look over sharpened like in this one, which is not great. And it has bad subject isolation too. To work around this issue, take a normal photo, open it, then tap on edit, and you will immediately find the portrait blur option under the suggestions tab, or you can also find it under tools if it didn't pop up here. And in a matter of seconds, Google Photos will add the blur effect for you with the best values. And now let's compare the results. First, the blur effect is great. My face looks much better, plus I'm getting a perfect subject isolation. Number three, start using the dual exposure feature for more variety. Unlike other camera apps, Gcam gives you two brightness sliders, one for the highlights and one for the shadows. So you can play around with them to completely change the look of your photos. Number four is how to take amazing moonshots. First, zoom in as much as you can, then tap to focus, and once more use dual exposure to move the highlights and the shadows sliders all the way down. Then take the shot. You will see here that my photo is blurry because I'm doing this handheld, but you don't need to worry because you can open the photo, then tap on edit and apply the unblur effect. Give it some time to do its magic and you can see how much better is the final result. And if you don't have photo unblur, I recommend using a tripod. Number five, Gcam has a built-in timer that you can set to three or 10 seconds, but it has two problems. First, what if you only need five seconds or maybe a whole minute, who knows? In this case, you will be out of luck. Secondly, once you turn on the timer, night sight will be completely deactivated, which is a bummer in case you want to use it at night. So instead of doing this, just quit the camera app, start Google Assistant and ask it to take a photo in whatever amount of time you want. And guess what? Night sight is working just fine. Number six, activate time lapse for astrophotography under Gcam settings and then advanced. If you are into astrophotography, this one second time lapse it creates can allow you to capture a falling star like I did, which is really nice. Or maybe one day you will be the first person on earth to take a video of an alien passing by. Who knows? Just keep it on. Number seven, on the Pixel 7 Pro, you can get too close to things using the macro feature, but what if you need more? In this case, you can add 5x extra zoom to get extremely close and with the help of super res zoom, you will see the details that you have never seen before. Number eight is the ability to take macro videos. This feature was released in June 23 feature drop and I see it extremely useful, but I recommend using it with a tripod to get a stable video or else it will be very shaky. But the results coming out of this feature are amazing. Number nine, activate audio zoom under your Gcam settings. This feature boosts the sound and decreases the background noise when you zoom on your subjects while recording videos. And here's a quick demo. Now I have the camera very far away from me and the zoom level is at 5x. Currently, I'm not using the audio zoom feature to show you the difference after activating audio zoom in the next video. Now I activated audio zoom under the same exact conditions and my voice should be much louder now because this feature increases the microphone gain to pick the far away sounds. Number 10. Don't set your night sight exposure time to the max if you're gonna take handheld photos to decrease the chances of getting a blurry image. Number 11, when you switch to the front camera and expand the settings, you will find an auto mode in the timer options. Once selected, tap on the shutter key. By this, every time you pause or smile, the phone will automatically take a photo. Now I'm done with the pro tips, so let's move on to the hidden features. Number one is the air gesture for taking photos. If you have the timer activated, when you raise your palm for a few seconds, the phone will automatically start the capture and it also works with the back camera. And I recommend activating timer light to know when to remove your hand once the timer starts. And I will show you how to activate time light in the new users category. Number two, you can tap and hold on the viewfinder to lock the focus. And by this, the focus won't change either when you move the camera or the subject. 
So you can consider this as a manual focus option. Number three, if you want to keep your moving subject in focus all the time, just tap on it once and the camera will keep tracking it. Number four, to save your photos directly to the locked folder, tap and hold on the recent photo thumbnail and choose locked folder. Then you can find them later in Google Photos under the library tab, then utilities, then locked folder. But keep in mind, these photos will not be backed up to the cloud. Number five, tap and hold on the lens switcher to quickly activate the zoom slider and then drag your finger to change the zoom level. Number six, on the Pixel 7 Pro, once the zoom level exceeds 15x, you will get a floating viewfinder to help you position the camera on the right spot. Number seven, in the normal camera mode, you can tap and hold on the shutter key to take a quick video. You can also swipe up or down to zoom or swipe left to lock the video mode. But keep in mind that quick videos are recorded in 1080p resolution. Number eight, Gcam has a hidden feature called face unblur. It automatically unblurs moving subjects without you doing anything. Number nine, under Gcam settings, you have a toggle called Google Lens Suggestions. Once activated, you will be able to scan QR codes directly in the camera, it will suggest document scanning when it sees a document, and once you tap the bubble, you will get a perfectly cropped and unlined image in a film to second, and there are even more. Number 10 and the last one in this category is the ability to double tap on the viewfinder to quickly zoom in or out. And I found this feature to adjust the zoom level based on what it sees in the frame instead of being fixed to 2x all the time. And now it's time for the new users category in case you are new to Pixel or you didn't have the time to play around with it. Number one, to quickly launch the camera, double press the power button and any volume key to quickly snap the shot. Number two is the flip camera for selfie to easily switch between the front and back cameras. But make sure that these two gestures are activated under settings, system, and then gestures. Number three, if you want perfectly aligned photos, go to Gcam settings, scroll down, and activate framing hints. This feature will give you levelers in the viewfinder to perfectly position your camera, plus you get a haptic and visual feedback once it's aligned. Not only this, but it also works when you take tabletop photos, but in this case, it will show you two plus signs that you need to align together to get the perfect angle. Number four, if you want to record a zoomed video, I recommend activating the locked mode under the video stabilization options. This can make your videos much more stable even if your hands are far from steady. And you can see the difference with and without the locked mode while moving the phone exactly the same way in both scenarios. Number five, you should use cinematic pan under the video stabilization options if you want to give your videos a cinematic look. This feature records in half speed and smooth out the movement to produce great looking videos that are not too slow or too fast. And this is one of the most underrated Gcam features that no one talks about. Number six, motion photos is another great feature that you should consider using more. It includes long exposure, which is great for capturing waterfalls, fountains, or busy highways by blurring any moving object in the scene while keeping anything else in focus. The second option under motion photos is action pan. This one is the opposite to long exposure. It blurs everything in the scene while keeping the moving subject in focus, resulting in a very professional looking photos that give you the sense of speed. Number seven, when you record videos in a noisy environment, you have the option to activate speech enhancement to decrease the background noise, but keep in mind it only works up to 4K 30 resolution, and let me show you a quick demo. So I'm currently recording in a very noisy environment and this is my voice without using the speech enhancement feature. Let me stop the video and activate speech enhancement to show you the difference. So now I'm using the speech enhancement feature under the same exact conditions and you can definitely tell the difference in the background notes. Number eight, turn on time light under Gcam settings and then advanced. To get notified about when the timer is started, and once the shot is taken. Number nine and 10 are the ability to take photos while recording videos and pause the recording temporarily instead of stopping and recording again from scratch. Number 11, to quickly share photos from within your camera, go to Gcam settings, then social share, turn on the switch and choose which apps to include. By this, every time you take a photo, you will get a bubble over the recent photo thumbnail. Tapping on it will show you these apps for quick sharing. Number 12 and 13, if you have the macro mode activated on your Pixel 7 Pro, but you want to temporarily turn it off, tap on the flower in the viewfinder. Or you can lock it to avoid switching back and forth between normal and macro mode. Number 14. 
If you want your selfies not to be mirrored after taking them, go to settings and then activate save selfie as previewed. Number 15 and the last one in this category is to activate top shot if you want to take a photo of a moving subject. You can choose between auto or always on and by this, the phone will take multiple shots before and after you hit the shutter key, then it will show you all the frames it took to pick the best option. So you won't miss the right moment. Not only this, but you can export all the frames as a video or a GIF. So that's pretty much it for today. Those are the top 35G cam tips and the tricks. And please let me know in the comments what do you think. And if you know something that I didn't mention in this video, please let me know in the comments below. But for now, thanks so much for watching and see you in the next video.